What is up everyone, this is Mike from My Gadgets World and I'm back with another video, it's about the MyCloud home storage. Before I get into that, I would like to thank all of you guys for subscribing to my channel and giving me the opportunity to get at least 1000 subscribers and it's really important for me guys. Thank you so much and I hope that new people who are watching my videos will be subscribing to my channel and I hope I keep pushing myself to make good quality content for all of you. So this is the MyCloud home storage device 4TB from Western Digital and I picked it up for $179 when it was on sale. Uh, usually the regular price is $199. Once you set up the hard drive and connect it to your router, I'll show you the steps from then onwards because usually it's so easy to set up your MyCloud home storage device. The instructions are given in the uh, instruction manual which is so easy to follow. I'm going to take you to the steps where you'll be installing the Plex Media Server on your MyCloud home storage device. Alright guys, so once you finish your MyCloud home storage device setup, you have to log into your MyCloud home account on the website. So just go to the mycloud.com and sign into your MyCloud home. I'm already signed in because I have saved my ID and password so you're gonna see this screen. It has a couple of options, it has files, photos, activity and services. So you have to go to this option where it says services to install the Plex server on your MyCloud home storage device so you don't have to keep your computer running all the time. It will be running through your MyCloud storage device which will be connected to your router directly. So click on the services and you see here the Plex plugin. In the services menu, you have to activate the Plex plugin. So just click on the enable. It's gonna take a while enabling the plugin. And once it is enabled, we'll go through the configuration of the Plex server. So heads up here, you have to have a Plex email ID and password. So you have to have a Plex account. So once it is enabled, you have to configure it and put your Plex ID and password. It is simple, it is very easy. Uh, you don't have to go through more steps so just one more here that you have to put your id and password once setup for the plex plugin is complete you just have to click on the configure to put your email id and password for your plex server so just click on the configure and hit ok so here you're gonna have to use your plex media server login id and password that you must have created already that you want to use for your uh, my cloud home storage device so just click on i have set up it with my email so i'm just going to be logging in with my email and password so guys once the plex server is enabled you're going to see in your my cloud storage folder that you have a plex folder now so just click on the plex folder and you will see it has the options like home videos movies music photos and tv shows so if you put the movies here, it's going to automatically be synced to the movies libraries and similar to all other options. If you put the TV shows here, it's going to be here in the Plex libraries updated itself so you can access your files anywhere you want. So I'm going to go back and uh, I'm going to click on the shared movies and I'm going to put the files here. So you're not putting files over here in the Plex. So what are you doing? You're just putting your files in the MyCloud. Uh, storage option which is online so you just go there and start putting the files here I'm gonna drag and drop a video file here and see how it syncs up with the Plex media server I'm just going to drop a movie just for the reference so all of frozen adventure I'm gonna just drag it over here Alright guys, so you can see on the bottom corner that the files are uploaded and it is right here. So we're going to see that uh, how it shows up in the Plex server. So all what I'm going to do is click on these three little dots and click on the refresh all metadata. So libraries are being updated and you can see the all of movies adventure is right here and it is getting the update from the internet and thumbnails and all the stuff at the bottom it is downloading the metadata for all of frozen and now you can see the thumbnail is generated and it's updated so similar way you can copy all your movies files into the mycloud storage device and 
is going to show up here in your Plex Media Server. If you don't click on these three dots and uh, uh, refresh all metadata, don't worry about it because it does automatically. You can also click on the scan library files. But if you don't do that, it will automatically do it whenever you log into your Flex Media Server or any devices on your uh, computer, on your TV, or on your tablets, or anywhere in the world. So it's going to update itself, so don't worry about that. But I wanted to show it to you guys real quick, so I have to click on the update because otherwise it takes a while to update. So now I'm going to click on the movie and let's see how it plays. Keep in mind that right now it is playing through the network. It's not directly connected to a computer, so whatever it is doing right now, it is doing through the router. So keep in mind that this video is right now playing through the Western Digital MyCloud storage device. It's not directly connected to the computer, it is actually connected to the router. So that's it from the setup and now I'm gonna take you guys to my TV and I'm gonna show you that uh, how the uh, how the movies are being played on all the devices without the hard drive is connected to the computer okay this is how the Western digital uh, hard drive is placed on my TV console and it is connected to the router directly and there are only two cables connected to the Western digital hard drive one is the uh, power cable and the other one is the LAN cable the RJ45 connector so now I'm going to show you how I can play the movies on my TV through the Plex server that we created. Alright guys, this is the Plex app on my LG OLED TV. So I'm going to click on this application and uh, see how the movies sync up with the Western Digital hard drive that we, we just created the server on the Western Digital hard drive. So the Plex app is opening. As soon as it will open, it will sync all the data that we have. So it has the Frozen that I copied earlier. This is the only movie that I have. If I go to the TV shows, it's not going to show up anything because I don't have any TV shows yet. So I go home and play the Frozen movie for you and show you like how fast it can play using the Western Digital um, home cloud that we just created the Plex server on. And it plays right away. It doesn't delay. Right now I'm connected through the LAN, everything is connected through the LAN, but the TV is connected through the wireless, so it's on the same network. But if I go outside and install the app on my iPad or on iPhone or any Samsung or Android devices, it's gonna it's gonna sync with the with the Plex server that we just created. So you can log it with your Plex ID and it will be good to go. This is all from this video. I hope you guys like it and uh, let me know in the comment section if you have any issues or any problems I can I can respond back real quick and I hope that you guys subscribe to my channel that will help me a lot and thank you all of you for subscribing and make it to 1000 subscribers for me. I'll see you in another video. Peace until then.